Birdman. Wake up. Come with me. We don't got much time. You transfer out tomorrow, right? Well, this is your last chance to get your camera back. Come on. A prisoner of war, a phrase I'd never have understood back home in Canada. But there I was, four months into a stretch, at the pleasure of the German army. I was to be transferred out to the country. I'll never forget that last day. They'd taken my notebook, my camera. This was my last chance to get them back. Come here, hurry, quick! So, on cleaning duty this morning, I went through all their cupboards. I got your camera, your notebook, and anything else with your name on. I stashed it all together. It's ready to go. Listen, I'm on a break, but they got me cleaning the guard block again. You know what that means? Today's the day, Birdman. Shift starts again soon, and there's only one guard right now. Come on. Okay, okay, I got it. Come on, Harry. Psst, come here. Harry, quick. Okay, Birdman, time to do your thing. Wait until I'm inside. You distract the Fritz, and I'll get your stuff. I'll meet you out back. I've already stashed your things. I just need a distraction, like we discussed, right? Gefangene. Jemand sollte sie alle erschießen. Alle. Come on, Harry. Here's your stuff. Go hide it in your bunk before anyone sees. I had to hide them. A stack of letters. Months worth. The guards have been holding all of our mail. Now you'd think, that many letters from Julia, I'd have torn them open. But if I got caught, I'd never get out. I had to hide them. It was torture. I'd also forgotten that Kurt had given me his address, back in Vimy. He lived on a farm, and I was due to be transferred out to the country. It gave me an idea, and I knew just the man who could help. Yes. Dear Katrin, Four months of asking and still they do not grant my leave. All that is left is my duty now. I wake some mornings forgetting why I came here in the first place. The only thing that keeps me going, the only light I see are these letters home to you and our darling daughter. The weather here has turned a lot colder. I ride surrounded by snow. Please tell Lucy. Thank <laughs> you.
So I had Kurt's address, and was to be transferred to the country the next day. If anyone knew how to change a movement order, it would be my friend Julian. Change the address on your movement orders? Impossible. You're crazy. You can try, but it's your funeral, Birdman. Follow me. Right in the cabinet at the back, but that's the officer's quarters. You're not getting in there without a damn good distraction. Soccer. I hadn't played since I was at school. I hated sports. I was never any good at them, but for my plan, I didn't need to be. Well, no more football for us. Our ball's stuck in the roof. I can't believe it, Harry. Thank you so much. You want to play? Come on. Okay, wait until I'm ready, and then shoot. Come on, Harry. One lucky kick was all I needed, and I got it. That ball was my way in. Jeden Tag immer das Gleiche. Verfluchter Krieg. I was on the train before I had the chance to finally read Julia's letters. I was so distracted. I didn't even care if I was going to Kurt's farm or not. My heart was pounding. Dear Harry, thank you for all the wonderful photos you send to me. I received no reply from my last letter. Please write back. My dearest Harry, I will not believe harm has come to you. I cannot bear the thought of a world without you in it. I love you. Julia.
And for the first time, those letters carried the scent of her sweet, sweet perfume. I had to get home. It had been nearly a year since I had seen my home, since I had seen my family. I could not sleep. At home, I dreamt of war. At war, I dreamt of home. As long as I was home, I would take care of my family. I had ten days at home and barely knew where to begin. I knew only that Luzi needed me. even bring myself to enter my son's room. Darf ich etwas Brot haben, Papa? Wo ist mein Bruder, Papa? Hast du ihn gefunden? Mama sagt, du erzählst nicht gerne vom Krieg. Warum, Papa? Wir haben nichts zu essen, weil Krieg ist. Warum braucht der Krieg das ganze Essen, Papa? Wenn wir den Krieg gewinnen, gibt es dann wieder Essen? Ich möchte eine große Scheibe, Papa. Es tut mir leid, Liebes. Dieses Stück Brot muss lange reichen. Mama hat gesagt, du hättest im Schlaf geschrien. Was hältst du von dem Namen Lotti, Papa? Passt er zu ihr? Danke, Papa. Du hast mir gefehlt. Guten Morgen, Kurt. Ich habe Dr. Siegfrieds Stethoskop aus dem Dorf mitgebracht. Für Luzi. Luzi, hast du dein Brot gegessen? Wir brauchen Feuerholz, Kurt. Oh, wir brauchen frisches Wasser aus dem Brunnen, Kurt. Holst du bitte etwas? Things were different at home. Weird. We have all changed up here. Maybe it was Luzi's illness. Maybe it was the war. But I never mentioned Max, for I could not speak of my failure.
I did what I could, but we remained hungry. To most on the Allied side, Germany was a machine, efficient and relentless. But there were people starving on that train, people that needed help. Ich habe solchen Hunger. Hast du diesen Wagen nichts verloren gefangen? Raus hier! Verschwinde! Geh weg! Was ist? I remember a carriage of wounded German soldiers. Some gestured to me for food. I wasn't the hero Julia thought I was. I couldn't help these people. But I could take photos. One day, I thought, when I'm back in Canada, I'll show people what happened. You know, they let the prisoners walk around. As long as we don't cause trouble. Was glotzt du so? Geh weg! Was machst du hier? I remember that little girl so clearly. She was alone. She was hungry. I couldn't just leave her. Maybe the adults on board could spare a little food. <laughs> Whoever that chocolate belonged to, they'd be happy to feed a starving child. Or that's what I told myself anyway. Chocolate? <gasps> Was? Danke. Ich habe aber nichts, was ich dir geben könnte. Was ist los? Schokolade, Schokolade, bitte. Was für ein Luxus. Danke. Vielen Dank. Oh, danke für die Schokolade. And for some reason, it reminded me of the man whose life I had the man I accidentally saved. sent Allied intelligence to. The German and his cat. Wie ich sehe, fühlst du dich schon wie zu Hause. Du bist hier immer willkommen, aber geh nicht in mein Bett. Hey, Lotti! Lotti ist so Was machst du denn da? Was machst du hier, Lotti?
Hier, Kätzchen. Lotti. <lacht> Komm hierher. I did what I could, but Lucy remained ill. Hey! I wish I knew how to help my little girl. I came home to see my wife and my daughter, to spend time with my family, and yet none of us spoke. I thought I could come home from the war. I thought I could leave it behind. But I understand now, Katrin, and I'm sorry. I can never leave the war behind. The war follows me wherever I go. Sure enough, I found myself on Kurt's doorstep. I didn't know how he'd react. It's one thing being friends with the enemy in a tunnel underground, but another being friends out in the open. I needn't have worried, though. Kurt and his family were kind to me. They took me in, gave me a bed to sleep in, cooked me meals. In return, I helped out on the farm and did what I could around the house. A few days later, Kurt took me to a nearby village. There were things his family needed. Lucy, his daughter, was sick. And Germany was struggling to feed itself by that time. Everyone was hungry. So while I looked for food, Kurt looked for medicine for his little girl. Kurt trusted me with one of his ration tickets, but people weren't too friendly. Was haben wir denn da? Das ist der Kriegsgefangene, der Kanadier. Ist er nicht ein hübsches Kerlchen? Sag sowas nicht, Edith. Das ist der Feind. Er ist ein Mörder. Ach, Mörder oder nicht, er ist ein sehr stattlicher junger Mann. Mehr sag ich ja nicht. This is German Ration Ticket, not yours. You bet ticket, then we play. Frieda, dein Englisch ist ausgezeichnet. If you win, you get food. If you lose, we get ticket. Come play. Good. Ticket on table. Nicht vergessen, Edith. So wie wir es geübt haben. Was? Hat er gerade gewonnen? Was? Hat er gerade gewonnen? Na toll, er hat gewonnen. Reingefallen, Wanze. Wir haben gar kein Essen. <lacht> Eine Essensmarke? Wir haben noch ein Leib. Nur für Sie. 
I finally found a loaf of bread. Food for Kurt's family. Hey Kurt, schön dich zu sehen. Heute ist mein letzter Tag. Morgen muss ich zurück. Henriette hat mir von meinem Bruder erzählt. Unfassbar, dass er nicht mehr da ist. Jetzt mache ich mir nur noch Sorgen um meine Familie. Wir schaffen das doch, oder? Kurt, ich habe Klaus das von seinem Bruder erzählt. War das richtig? Jetzt ist er völlig verzweifelt. Gebrochen. Hätte ich nur nichts gesagt. Aber ich danke dir, Kurt, dass du uns die Wahrheit gesagt hast. Kurt, ich habe das von Dr. Siegfried Jung und Klaus Bruder gehört. So viel Leid, so wenig Freude. Wann ist das alles denn endlich vorbei? Hoffentlich bringst du mir eines Tages gute Neuigkeiten über meinen Gregor. Die Kopfwunde meines Sohnes. Er sieht so anders aus. Dr. Siegfried hat sein Bestes getan. Aber mein Sohn kann in keinen Spiegel sehen. Vielleicht kann der Doktor Luzi helfen. Hast du ihn gefragt? Kurt, wie schön, dich wiederzusehen. Dieser Krieg. Nicht zumindest wurde Jonas anständig begraben. Dank dir, Kurt. Jonas hat uns vielleicht verlassen, aber deine Tochter ist noch bei uns. Diese Pflanze könnte helfen. Koch sie in Wasser, gib Blut sie den Sud zu trinken. Entschuldige mich, Kurt. Ich möchte allein sein. Viel Glück, mein Freund. Now I could take care of Lucy. I could work on my plan for Harry. It was then Kurt showed me his plan. Seemed like he wanted to build a balloon. At the time, I had no idea why. A real hot air balloon. And he wanted my help. Come in, Harry. I sure hoped Kurt knew what he was doing. Hier aufzuräumen ist harte Arbeit. Alles kommt wieder in Ordnung. Keine Sorge, Kurt. Das schaffe ich schon allein. its doors to the public. I knew Kurt was looking for a barrel. This was good timing. But would they let me in? I was the enemy after all. Vor dem Krieg konnte ich immer schlafen. Das ist vorbei. Schön, dich wiederzusehen, Kurt. Ich hoffe, Luzi geht's besser. Ich mag mir gar nicht vorstellen, wie das so ist, wenn man seine Kinder nicht beschützen kann. In Zeiten wie diesen. The innkeeper sure seemed good at talking, and Kurt gave him someone to talk to. The perfect distraction. Stimmt das? Du siehst etwas müde aus, Kurt. Schläfst du genug? Ruh dich mal aus. Ich mag mir gar nicht vorstellen, wie das so ist, wenn man seine Kinder nicht beschützen kann. In Zeiten wie diesen bin ich froh, dass ich keine Familie habe. Meine Gäste sind meine Familie. Du bist wie mein Bruder, Kurt. Erzähl mir doch mal von deiner Katze, Kurt. Es heißt, du hast sie im Niemandsland gefunden. Unglaublich. Eins muss ich ihr lassen. Sie hat echt Glück. Wie fühlst du dich endlich wieder zu Hause? Es heißt ja, der Krieg hinterlässt unauslöschbare Spuren in jedem Mann. Stimmt das? Du siehst etwas müde aus, Kurt. Schläfst du genug? Ruh dich mal aus. Suchst du? Suchst du immer noch deinen Sohn, Kurt? Der Krieg kennt kein Mitleid, Kurt. 
Im Krieg ist egal, wen er tötet. Ich hoffe, du findest deinen Jungen. Aber sei nicht so optimistisch. Ich habe das von deiner kleinen Luzi gehört, Kurt. Hoffentlich geht's ihr bald besser. Der Sohn eines Mannes ist Remember, I had no idea what was going on. What use did Kurt have for a balloon? But whatever I said on the long walk home, Kurt's response was always the same. He pointed toward the sky. So that is what happened, Katrin. I took these things from the village. I made a plan to help the man who I believed to be a hero to repay my debt for the time he saved my life. And for the time he sent Allied Intelligence to help me. I wanted to build a balloon for him. I wanted to send him home. To set him free. look at me. And I guess that's because of the stories I was told, you know? To folks back home, he would have been an evil Hun. But he was also a father. He was also a husband. And he was also my friend. But I was too quick to trust the Canadian. Too quick to call him a friend. I see now how foolish I've been. I see now I was wrong. But Kurt wanted to build a balloon. And I think he meant to build it for me. Something was wrong. My daughter didn't normally call out like that. She didn't make a fuss. Papa! Papa! <laughs> Harvey! At the time, I thought maybe there'd been an accident and he needed my help. It never occurred to me that I'd done anything wrong. It just never occurred to me. Harvey! Das ist er. Das ist er. Das ist mein Sohn. Und du hast dieses Bild gemacht. Du warst dort. Ist er tot? Du Mörder! I was as surprised as Kurt. I didn't know who Max was. It's like the picture of his son triggered something in him. Flipped a switch. He could see it in his eyes. Before we knew it, he packed up early, went back to war, and took a bunch of my photos with him. Germany is interested only in its final push on the Western Front. They believe they can take Paris. 
I've not come here for Paris. By chance, I've been reunited with Franz. I haven't seen him since Vimy. Franz is built for war. Cold and detached, he sees the Tommy as vermin. I never used to understand him, but I do now. He will be a valuable ally. He has agreed to help me find the man in the picture. So that was it. Kurt left. Me? I resolved to build that balloon. I didn't know if I could do it without Kurt, but I knew I had to try. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in Germany. And back home, there was Julia. So I'd build that balloon. Truth be told, there was not much else I could do. I was always grateful to Katrine. Even after everything that happened, she let me stay in the house. Maybe she just liked the company. I don't know. I helped in whatever way I could, and the three of us kind of fell into a routine. Noch keine Nachricht von Kurt heute. Ich versuche mir keine Sorgen zu machen. Ich habe Hunger, Harry. Ist noch Brot da? Lustig, Harry. Du bist so albern und du bringst mich zum Lachen. Geh nicht weg, Harry. Bleib dafür immer in Deutschland. Eine große Scheibe, eine große Scheibe. That day, the postman gave me a letter. And for once, it wasn't from Julia. The postmark was from Newport, in Belgium. Ein Brief für Harry Lambert. Harry, my boy. It took me forever to track you down. I've thought of you often since Passchendaele. And I'm sorry, Harry. For everything. For dragging you into this war. For leaving you there. I swore to protect you and I failed. An officer is only as good as his men. And you are the finest of men, Harry. If you'll take one final order from your old Major, it's this. Go home, Harry. The first chance you get. Go home to your girl. You've got the uniform now. I know it's the only reason you joined. She'll love it. With respect and friendship, Barrett. Wir müssen über die Brücke, bevor sie gesprengt wird, Kurt! As we move against the Allies, as everyone focuses on the attack, I focus on one thing. I focus on the man in the picture. I will find him for you, Katrin. And I will find the truth. Tommys haben Scharfschützen in diesem Gebiet. Geh lieber nicht weiter. Wir müssen über die Brücke, bevor sie zerstört wird. Die Brücke wird bald gesprengt. Beeilung!
Die Brücke wird bald gesprengt. Beeilung! Wir müssen über die Brücke, bevor sie zerstört wird. Gut, wir müssen sofort Verstärkung anfordern. Beeilung! Fordere den Luftangriff an, bevor sie die Brücke sprengt. Beeilung, gut! Die Brücke wird bald gesprengt. Beeilung! Major. Last time I saw him was when the shell hit at Passchendaele. I couldn't believe he survived it. <laughs> I guess what they said in the trenches was true. The war just couldn't kill him. Work on the balloon was slow. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I barely even understood Kurt's plans, but he did, wherever he was. Dear Catherine, the offensive of Paris failed. We are forced to retreat to Germany. Yet today, I made progress for the first time. I know his name now. nach den Kanadiern? Da hinten haben wir einen zurückgelassen. Die Tommys haben Scharfschützen in diesem Gebiet. Geh lieber nicht weiter. Every Canadian I capture either claims ignorance or simply misunderstands. They all look at me as, a, as if I'm some kind of madman. But this one understood. And this one recognized the man in the picture. to you. Is that Major Barrett? I don't know where he is, I swear! Barrett, Katrin. His name is Barrett.
I daydreamed a lot back then. If I could finish that balloon, I thought, maybe somehow I could escape. Maybe somehow I could get back to Julia. As the months went by, Katrine kept me updated about Kurt. She'd point to maps to show me where he was, explain as best she could. <sighs> Kurt sure didn't give up easy. Kurt! Das ist Ihr Übersetzer! Was für ein Glück! Bring ihn zum Reden, Kurt! Der hier versteht jedes Wort! Was wollen Sie denn von mir? Bitte, ich habe einen Sohn. Ich habe das Foto noch nie gesehen. Das schwöre ich. Moment, das ist doch Major Barrett. Sind Sie hinter dem Herr? Er weiß etwas. Man sieht es an seinen Augen. Angeblickt ist er durchgedrecht. Er würde abgezogen. Droh ihm, Kurt. Er hat Angst. Er ist jetzt am Meer stationiert, in Newport. Mehr weiß ich nicht. He is in Newport, Katrin. And I will find him. I will find Barrett. It's only a matter of time. Katrine showed me the letter. Kurt's search for Barrett had led him to the Belgian coast. He'd found him. Whatever Kurt's plan was, it wasn't going to end well. And Katrine knew it. She begged me to save her husband. I didn't know if I could find Kurt. Hell, didn't know if I wanted to. But I did have the balloon. And one crazy idea. I suppose they will call me a deserter now. <laughs> but I never cared for this war anyway. I, I only ever cared for Max, our son, my boy. Katrine gave me a map of Europe and Kurt's old hunting rifle. I don't know which one of us was more surprised that the balloon even floated. I flew all night in that balloon. Don't know how, but I got there. I was back at war. You can't see the war from the ground, because on the ground, you are the war. I'll never forget that moment, because in that moment, I truly understood what I'd been a part of. But I was tired, and I needed sleep, I barely knew which way was up anymore. What the hell was I even doing here? Maybe Kurt found Barrett days ago. Hell, maybe Kurt was already dead. I know you think I've changed. Perhaps you... <laughs> Perhaps you even think I'm mad. But I did what I had to do for our family, Katrin. And I found him. I found Major Barrett. Oi, what are you doing here, filthy Fritz? Nearly the armistice, anyhow. You lost, Fritz. You lost. Ah, Miller. More wine. I thought I was here to take photographs, sir. You are here to get me wine. That's an order. 
Yes, sir. lives lost under Major Barrett's command. They were just boys and crushed. They were just children. I sent better men than me to their deaths. I robbed better men than me of their sons. But it's over now. It's over. No more. Enough. Did I even want to save a man who didn't trust me? To him, I wasn't a friend. To him, I was the enemy now. A true friend would have heard me out. A true friend wouldn't have assumed the worst. I always thought if you cared about someone, that was unconditional, right? Photograph the armistice, he said. You'll be famous, he said. All I'm doing is fetching wine for an alcoholic. Miller! For the love of all that is holy, where the hell is my wife? He was a good photographer, that Harry. A good lad. I should never have brought him into all this. I hope you made it home to your girl, Harry. To your old life. Awakes, I see. I would apologize for knocking you out, Fritz, but, well, I'm just not sorry. But I am curious about these little souvenirs of yours. So many German casualties must be quite painful to look at. That's what you get for starting a war, I suppose. It's over now, Fritz. <laughs> you lost. Du hast mir meinen Sohn genommen. Come on, Fritz. Give me something to work with here. What else have we got here? How did you get this picture? Are you a spy or something? Es interessiert mich ein Dreck, was du sagst. Genau wie deine Fotos. Einen Dreck. Was hast du mit meinem Sohn gemacht? I've got myself a feisty one here. What larks? Let's try another. Hang on a second. These look an awful lot like pictures taken by a friend of mine. These are Harry Lambert's photos. What did you do to him? I'm listening, Fritz. Du, du kennst ihn. Das Name ich nicht mehr ausspreche. Er widert mich an, genau wie du. Er hat gesehen, wie sie meinen Sohn gefangen hielt. Not nichts getan, nichts. So, there I was, right before the armistice. Mid-air, in a homemade balloon. I was free up there. Free to choose. Did I risk my life for a man who hated me? Or live the life I always imagined? Share my photos with the world? Go home.
This is you in this picture. What the hell happened? Did you kill him? Is he dead? Answer me! If I found out you hurt Harry, you will beg me to kill you quickly. <laughs> ich bin nicht hier über ihn zu sprechen. Es ist mir egal, wie du mir egal bist. Ich bin deinetwegen hier. Ich will dich, Major Barrett. Oh, he knows my name. Ha <laughs> ha! This just keeps getting better. Ja, ich kenne deinen Namen. Und ich kenne diesen Harry. Ich kenne euch. Ist er dein Sklave, dein Lakai? Hilft dir dir für Ruhm und Ehre, Unschuldige zu töten? Er ist doch schlimmer als du. Er ist ein Feigling. Ein Feigling mit einer Kamera, der glaubt, er wäre ein Held. You are the finest of men, Harry. I cannot bear the thought of a world without you in it. I love you, now and always. Go home, man. The first chance you get. Go home to your girl. Last picture, Fritz. So what about this one? Found this one in your inside pocket. What's so special about it, Fritz? Hang on a minute. That's me. Now you've really got my attention. And who's this young fellow I'm threatening? Finger, finger weg from the Bild. Finger weg, du Mörder! Du. <laughs> oh, Fritz, I have no idea what you're saying. You should never have come here, Fritz. You see, to me, you're just one last little bit of war left to fight. We're moments away from peace, you and I. Funny, in a way. How about a photo? For posterity. You understand? I'll get the camera. Lose not. <laughs> that drunkard. I do not remember it clearly, but I escaped and I ran. <laughs> I made up my mind. I had a friend, and he needed my help. I wanted to help Kurt, but for all I knew, he'd kill me. So I let the pigeon go. I wasn't far away now, and the bird had found Kurt before. I hoped she would again. But first, I had to land, and I hadn't thought that far ahead. I survived, and I thought I'd heard gunshots. I had no idea if Kurt was nearby. But if he'd found Barrett, he wouldn't be safe. I had to hurry. Barrett was determined and relentless. I knew he would not give up until he found me. For a fleeting moment, I almost respected him. Almost. Come on now, my little pretty friend. 
I hadn't heard it for over a year, but I'd recognize that voice anywhere. At first, they were just two figures in the distance. But the closer I got, the clearer it all became. I think perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. It was Barrett, all right. And Kurt had found him. Hiding is not one of your strengths, I see. What was your plan, just out of interest? You come here, you find me. What then? You don't even speak English. What were you planning to do? Well, well, well. Harry? Harry Lambert? What the hell are you doing here? Harry. His name is Kurt. Please, sir, just do what he says. Wait. What? So you do know this, Fritz? Kurt, put the gun down. We can sort this out. Ah, jetzt richtest du eine Waffe auf mich. Du bist wie er. Genau wie Barrett. Du bist wie alle. I'm impressed, Fritz. Looks like you still have some fight left in you. His name is Kurt. Please, sir, just do what he says. I don't know what he wants. He's crazy. Back up! Bring it to me, Harry. No, he's not crazy. He's a father. Oh, du erinnerst dich an ihn. Ja, du hast ihm meine Waffe an den Kopf gehalten. Wie ich dir jetzt meine Waffe an den Kopf halte, das war mein Sohn. Come on, Fritz. We've all lost someone we care about. It's war. Did you kill that prisoner back in Vimy? I don't remember, Harry. What's the German for probably? Ich muss wissen, was mit meinem Sohn passiert ist. Mit meinem Sohn. Mit Max. Hörst du? Max. Mein Sohn. Look behind you, Fritz. I've got far more guns than you have. Don't do this. Just tell him his son's alive, sir, and we can all go home. Er war my Junge. We've all lost people we love. All of us. Er fehlt mir. So, that was it. The Major never forgave me. I lost everything. They called me a traitor, a Fritz lover, a yellow. I still do. They spared me, Katrin, but I still wonder if I should have killed Barrett. It's a burden I will have to live with. What happened to Max? goes unpunished. Word spread, even here back home. Taylor won't let me back in the store. Julia won't speak to me. No doubt they will praise him for his heroism. <laughs> but, Katrin, we know the truth. We know who he really is. They will not keep me for much longer. Please tell Lucy, I'm sorry, I will be home soon. We gotta understand, I couldn't shoot him. He was my friend, 